let's look at uh, some equation with bracket uh, so these are examples similar examples from exercise F for my year 9 students on page 134 so if you can take uh, open your book on page 134 I'm going to do some similar questions from that page so let me make up a question so 4 bracket x plus 6 is equal to say 16 so here we are asking the question so what is this question 4 times something so this is something is equal to 16 so you can write here the fact what's the fact that you know you know 4 times 4 is 16 so this is the fact that you know so using this fact I can say well x plus 6 should be 4 okay so this is a fact so 4 times something is 16 so this is a fact 4 times 4 is 16 so x plus 6 is 4 so I now know the fact is 2 okay what plus 6 is 4 okay so that's a bit straight and difficult for some of you so well I can say well uh, negative 2 plus 6 is equal to 4 I will show you also a different way of doing this whole thing so x has to be x has to be negative 2 okay now let me show you a different way of doing this whole example okay so this is one way some of you can do this way for some it will be difficult so what I'm going to do I'm going to divide this side by 4 because I want to cancel this 4 first so if you divide this side by 4 you have to divide this side by 4 so this 4 and this 4 gets cancelled so what have we got x plus 6 is equal to 4 ok now I want to cancel this plus 6 the opposite of plus 6 is minus 6 so if you take away 6 from this side so this and this gets cancelled you're just doing the opposite if you think about this the opposite of times is divided by so I divided both sides by 4 the opposite of plus 6 is minus 6 so you took away 6 from both sides so x is equal to 4 take away 6 and 4 take away 6 is negative 2 and that's your answer okay so let's do one more say 2 bracket x minus 8 is equal to 10 so what should I do to both sides first I want to cancel this 2 which is 2 times something is 10 so well I have to divide both sides by 2 so this is 10 divided by 2 so I can say x minus 8 is equal to 5 now I should the opposite of negative 8 is plus 8 so you can write plus 8 to this side you're adding plus 8 to this side so this and this gets cancelled so x is equal to 13 you can always check your answer by putting the answer back in the equation so if you put this back in the equation so let's put this back in this equation so what are we saying 2 times 13 take away 8 is what 2 times 5 is 10 that's the equation okay so okay let's do some uh, some more difficult questions say these are from this is from exercise G on page 136 I'll not do the questions on the in the exercise I'll make up some similar questions so let's do say X take away 10 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.4 okay so this is a bit difficult question so this is so if you think about this equation something take away 10 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.4 okay so yeah what happened first is so if you, you can also draw the, the the diagram like this so the first thing that happened is x take away 10 I'll do this 
in two different ways. So x take away 10 is x minus 10. Okay. And the next thing that happened is divided by 2. Is divided by 2 is x take away 10 divided by 2. And that is equal to, so this is an equal to sign I'm putting like this, is equal to 0 0.4. So you're going backwards, so you have to do the opposite. So the opposite of divided by is times. So 0 0.4 times 2 is, so x minus 10 has to be 0 0.8. Am I right? We'll check the answer. So 0 0.4 times 2 is 0 0.8. So what we're saying is x minus 10 has to be 0 0.8. And the opposite of minus 10 is plus 10. So 10 plus 0 0.8 is 10.8. And that's the answer. So x is equal to 0 0.8 is the answer. So let's do this in a different way. So how can we do this? If you want to do, so x minus 10 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.4. So you should understand what's happening in which order. What happens last has to be undone first. So this is dividing by 2 is the last thing that happened to x. So you have to do the opposite of that. So you're going to multiply both sides by 2. The opposite of divided by 2 is times. So multiplying both sides by 2. So this and this gets cancelled. So what is the remaining? x minus 10 is equal to 0 0.8. 0 0.8 okay and the opposite of negative 10 is plus 10 so adding 10 to this side so adding 10 to this side so x so this and this gets cancelled so x is 10.8 let's make sense of the answer always make sense of the answer so what are we saying 10.8 take away 10 divided by 2 is what 10.8 take away 10 is 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 divided by 2 is 0 0.4 so your answer is right okay so say so answer is 10.8 and this is what we got 0 0.4 okay so your answer is right now let's do some ex examples from exercise H this is from exercise H on page 137. Again, I'll do, make up my own questions, and then you have to do the questions yourself. So the next, uh, say, let's say 5x plus, mm, say, 4x is equal to, say, 36. So what is the meaning of this? This means phi lots of x, so let me write this. This means phi lots of x. You can also say this is phi times x. And this means this is 4 lots of x. What does lots of x mean? So this means, so let me write it here, 5x is, you can say that is phi times x. That is nothing wrong. Phi times x okay but 5x means x plus x plus x plus 5 times x okay so let me explain this in a different way from number x times x times 5 times x suppose what is 5 times 4 we know 5 times 4 is 20 so this means 5, 5 lots of 4 so this is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Okay, what is this uh, 3 times 4? 3 times 4 is 12. Or you can say this is 3 lots of 4. So 4 plus 4 plus 4. You can also say this is 4 lots of 3. 4 lots of 3 or 3 lots of 4 are the same. So what we're saying is this is 5 lots of x plus 4 lots of x is 9 lots of x. 
is equal to 36. Okay, so now this is 9 times x, so you have to divide both sides by 9. So 9, <coughs> 9 and 9 gets cancelled, x is equal to 4. So does it make sense? So what are we saying? 5 times 4 plus 4 times 4. Okay, so what is 5 times 4? 5 times 4 is 20 plus 4 times 4 is 16 is equal to 36. Okay, so let me do one more question. Say 5, 5m plus 8 plus 2m is equal to say 15. So the first thing that we need to do is you have to bring the like terms. So this is this is these are called the like terms 5m and so I'm going to write the next term like this 5m plus 2m plus 8 is equal to 15. So this is 5 lots of m plus 2 lots of m. So well we know that is 7 lots of m plus 8 is equal to 15. Okay, so now I want to get rid of this. You can draw the diagram and do this. So let's do it faster. So if I'm going to take away 8 from both sides first, because that's what happened to m last. So actually, if you look at this equation, this means m times 7. The first thing that happened was times, and the last thing that happened to m was to add 8. So you have to undo that first. Okay, so now that becomes 7m. So this and this gets cancelled is equal to 15 take away 8 is 7. Now 7 times a number is 7. So I'm going to divide both sides by 7. Or you can directly know that m should be 1. So let's make sense whether the answer is making sense. So what are we saying? So 5 times 1 plus 8 plus 2 times 1. So what is this? So this is basically 5 plus 8 plus 2. And 5 plus 8 plus 2 is 15. So our answer is right. So this answer of m being 1 is right.